In this video, we're going to look at Master. This is version 1.0, and it only works in the portrait orientation. It works on the iPhone and iPod Touch. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go, straight to the main menu. You can see that this app is OpenFate enabled. We have our options of new game, how to play, and high scores. Let's tap on high scores. And here we go to the open fate menu. We have a lot of options here. We could go, let's go with who's playing. All right, nobody right now. Check out leaderboards. And let's try expert. Here it shows you everyone's high score, including your own. All right, let's back out of here. Close out, back to the main menu. All right, let's tap on how to play. Here we get a nice menu, and it explains the game in three easy steps. I'm not going to explain it, but you'll see in gameplay. It's very simple. Scroll down to power-ups. We get math power, doubles your multiplier for 10 seconds. Time increase, increase your time. Hint, gives you a matching pair. Go down to power downs, and we get multiplier reset. Resets it back to zero. Time decrease, decrease your time. And there's also random power, which could be any of those five. All right. Now let's go back. All right, last we have new game, so let's tap on that. And here we get our difficulty select, and we could pick from easy, intermediate, hard, expert, or unending. All these are 12 levels, except for unending. Let's start with easy. Alright, upper left hand corner we got our timer. If we get matching tiles, then we get a time increase. If we get it incorrect, we get a time decrease. Upper right hand corner we have points. Below that is our multiplier, which is the chain of how many we get correct. And below that is our round indicator. Alright, here we go gameplay. You can see we need to match two tiles to equal a sum that's given. Here it's four. So I'm going to keep matching tiles. And here you see power up. We got a check mark this time. And that's going to give us matching tiles. And you can see on top, Open Faint has little notifications, which is really cool integration. All right, let's keep playing. In the lower left hand corner you can see menu and we could tap that anytime throughout the game. So let's do that. And here we got our menu and we could go to main menu, how to play, turn on and off the sound, high scores, and then we just return to the game. Alright, let's tap on how to play in case we forget what a power up is or power down is. All right, let's return, keep going. Um, graphics are really nice. You can see the hardwoods, like a desk, carved into, just like normal school. All right, let's go in the bottom left again and hit menu. Go back to our main menu. Let's start a new game again. And this time we will select hard as our difficulty. And right away you can see that there's a lot more tiles. There's another column as well as another row added. The numbers are uh, more difficult in this round. And also you have less time to start with. But other than that, gameplay is exactly the same. There we go, get a matching pair. Alright, let's tap this power up, and you can see our multiplier has doubled. So let's rack up as many points as we can before it changes back. Let's let the timer run out, and I'll show you. It's starting to vibrate right now in the last five seconds. We get to go to the next level, or the next round, but we lose our multiplier, 
and we also lose some points. I'm gonna I'm gonna exit back out of here with the menu. All right, back to the main menu, and I hope you enjoyed the review.